So we are going to see about the procedure to take power card and the power card basics. So what is a power card? We can call the power card as otherwise indicator card as it indicates the power developed inside a particular unit. So theoretically a power card or an indicator card is basically a PV diagram. P on the Y axis and V on the X axis. P is the pressure which varies overall through the stroke of the cylinder during a combustion cycle and V is the change in volume. So before taking a power card as usual precautions which you can refer to the textbooks we got to draw this atmospheric line so I'll draw the atmospheric line with the help of red color over here so this is the atmospheric line which indicates the atmospheric pressure basically so that's the atmospheric line and then after that you got to blow through the indicator cock so that no carbon deposits are there and after that you got to screw in the indicator instrument onto the indicator cock and then what you have to do is attach pull the cord out and then attach it through the pulley mechanism to the indicator drive which in turn touches the indicator cam on the engine so once you do that the drum automatically starts to rotate and then you will get a power card something like this which I'm going to draw like this this is approximate so it will be something like this and this is going to be your power card which you're going to get so this line which is at the bottom this is the compression curve compression and this is the expansion curve due to the combustion of fuel and gas and the actual combustion happens at this point just right before and after the TDC and the expansion and scavenging process I mean the exhausting and the scavenging process happens over here so this is basically the power card now what you're going to do with the power card is calculate the amount of power developed by the individual unit so it's basically the area under the curve with the planimeter you can just trace it and then calculate the amount of divisions covered and theoretically it's something like this area under the curve I'll just use some other color to denote it so I'll use the area under the compression curve with the help of green color all right so this is the area under compression curve and the area under expansion curve let's I'm gonna use some more dark blue right underneath this color this curve so the blue line overlaps with the green so the actual power developed is within these two curves all right so the actual power developed power is equal to the area under the blue curve that is the expansion curve minus the area under the compression curve that's a green color I'll write it as green so that's going to give the indicated power within the cylinder now after this you're going to see the actual procedure or actual indicator diagram and the indicator drive cam on the engine this is for man BMW 9k 90 MC engine so what you are seeing over here is the exhaust cam and the roller on top of it that's the actuator this is the exhaust cam and you can see the degrees over there and slight white tinge what you're going to see in between the exhaust and fuel cam is the indicator cam now it will be visible that's it so that's the indicator instrument attached to the indicator drive and then it's automatically taking the power card once you do it due to the rotation of the engine. So that's the procedure for power card.